Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Coffee and Cards with Michelle. I'm Michelle Zanovich with MakingMemoriesWithMichelle.com, and I'm crafting with you this week using the March Paper Pumpkin, the No Matter the Weather Paper Pumpkin. And, you know, I again, I can't even tell you how timely this, this kit is with everything that's going on. Um, so let's get started. I'm... Everything that you see out here today is going to be over on my blog at www.makingmemorieswithmichelle.com. But if you're going to craft along with me, you will need a card base of thick Whisper White cardstock, which opens to five and a half by eight and a half. You need a piece of pool party, which is five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. And then you need a piece of Whisper White, which is five by three and three quarters. Good morning, Gordy Van Gogh. It's good to see you this morning. So if you have a Stamparatus, this is going to come in handy this morning. So I have mine here and I have the stamp that looks, um, it's the it's the little tufts of grass or tufts of of spring flowers, and I'm going to put my whisper white in here. Line this up. I love this grid paper. I couldn't use my Stamparatus without it, and actually, um, I wasn't a big Stamparatus fan until Gordy Van Gogh told me that she uses hers all the time, and and Gordy is one of my my stamping bees and so I thought well if my stamping bees were using it I needed to learn how so now I love it for this type of thing all right so I have um soft sea foam and we're going to stamp our our grass and so I'm going to to ink this up and this is just a little awkward today because I'm stamping from the top down, okay? And then I'm going to move this over twice. Sorry, you probably can't see what I'm doing. Move it over two clicks. Ink it up again. and then move it two clicks more. Like so. Okay. Then I'm done with that. Move that out of my way. And now comes the fun part. I have a light pool party stamp and blend and a light crumb cake stamp and blend. And so I'm going to add all right. Because these little guys don't hang out there all by themselves. So we're going to add some soil. And I, I love my blends. Now, with your light pool party, this is the fun part. We're going to color everything else. Okay. So actually, if you want to start up here, you can get some big... Just use long, even strokes. And you can go back and fill in as you like. But here we're just gonna get in and add some shading. Okay, and you can even color over it. Okay. 
What is she doing? I'm just adding just a little color. Okay, and honest. When we're finished, then you can go back, okay? For the sake of being on camera, you don't want to watch me color that whole thing. All right, but trust me. Now, in your paper pumpkin, we're going to take these daffodil galoshes. Love these. And make sure you get that piece that's in the middle. Take that out. I'm going to put this right around here. All right. But first, I have a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock. And I'm going to get my Stampin' Pierce mat out because I'm using photopolymer stamps. And today I grabbed from the Celebration catalog the Tags in Bloom set. Now I used this set a couple weeks ago in my, um, on my blog. So if you want, you can go back and, and see that from a few weeks ago. But I'm going to, I, I was making a, a sample of this and I'm like, what? what can I use for a sentiment for this card? And I came across this one and it says, I miss your face. And my goodness, I was having a little breakdown this morning or last night. I'm going to tell you, you don't realize how much, you know, I work from home, right? And my nights are, are filled with, with going out and seeing people, whether I'm at yoga or whether I'm, um, you know, going out to dinner with friends or, or whatever. So um, if you're going to do this, make sure that you've got this going in the direction of your, your punch. Anyway, so last night I was seriously missing some faces. So when I saw this stamp, I'm like, okay, that's perfect. So I stamped the outline of the tag in Calypso Coral. And then using basic gray, which is the color that came in um, this month's paper pumpkin, I'm going to stamp the sentiment. I should make about, oh, I don't know, a hundred or so of these and just send them because honest to goodness, I didn't realize what an extrovert. All right, this is the Label Me Lovely Punch. And we're just going to punch this right out. And then I'll bring my card front back in. All right. So now, I have some snail. And I'm just eyeballing where I want that to go. And that's gonna go right here. And then, Oops, I'll take my sheet of dimensionals. And then I have some little minis. Okay, this is going to go on our pool party layer. Put 
this on the front of the card. And we'll take just a little bit of this Baker's Twine that came in the paper pumpkin kit. And I'm going to cut a length and then unravel it. So I doubled it and I'm just cutting two strands. And then I'm going to tie a double bow. So two pieces together and just tie a bow like so. Pull both ends at the same time. Otherwise it gets a little lopsided. Oh, here's my glue dots. Pick up a glue dot and just kind of roll it around to the back. I'm going to put that right down there. There you go. Something sweet, simple, easy to make, and crafting is good for the soul. It's going to cheer you up, and it's going to cheer up whoever receives your card. Thanks for watching me. Again, all measurements will be out on my blog at www.makingmemorieswithmichelle.com. Be with me tomorrow morning as we finish up our coffee and cards for this week. And then again on Saturday at 9 for Crafty Saturday. Take care. Wishing you well. Um, and let me see what you're making with your paper pumpkins. All right. Bye-bye.